Hey guys, welcome back to your Daily Dose of Rocket League. Uh, before we do get into this video though, I do have a few announcements to make. Uh, first off, I do have a second live channel on YouTube uh, where I post stream highlights and other funny moments from my live stream. So if you miss those, you can catch them whenever you want. Uh, so if you want to follow that uh, and subscribe to it, uh, it's in the first link in the description. It would be a lot of help if you guys do subscribe to it. Um, Hasn't been growing too fast yet, but I'm, I'm hoping that you guys do enjoy the content, and uh, we're trying to get daily videos on that as well. Um, otherwise, the second announcement is I do have a few maps that I'm releasing today on the workshop uh, from from before, including like the Mario Kart skyscraper. Um, I think Squash Court should be up there as well from the the videos a couple days ago, and uh, I'll have a few other surprises as well coming up. Um, hope you guys enjoy those maps and the videos about them. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the main channel videos. Uh, I'm trying to keep the daily videos going. Um, we're going to be doing a road to rank 1 in 1v1 this season, just because uh, I didn't really touch 1s that much the last two seasons, and I want to see if I can get back up there. I know you guys enjoyed me playing in the Johnny Boy 1v1 tournament and getting top, I think it was top 3 or top 4. Um, so, I'm going to see how I do and uh, get these mechanics up. So, so far in the 1v1 ladder, I've only played 7 out of my 10 placements. So, let's get these final 3 placements in and see where we get. Hopefully, we get Grand, grand Champ, but if not, then we can climb later on. Alright, so we got our first game of the video. We got Kev Pert, who's a pretty good 1v1 player. He's played a lot in the past. So he's going for the uh, the boost bait at the beginning here. He went for the back kickoff. Let's see if I can play this play this well. Ooh, nice, good fifty. So he's he's basically just playing a a fake and take so far. So I've noticed. Should be a decent shot. Should be hard for him to save well. I'm not really worried about him taking the boost. Alright, so I'm trying to get a read on him. So far, it's not doing too well. It's pretty low here. There we go. So we took a really early shot and it got a, a little bit too far away from him. That way, he's able to pop it over him around the backboard and then continue with the shot afterwards. So, a bit of overcommit from him. So far, he's doing a good job of trying to bait me in uh, with my challenges. I'm okay with him taking the boost here. There we go. I can tell that he's being really aggressive with his challenges, but then also at the same time, he's faking a lot. So I'm just trying to take my time, make sure I make the right decisions. Stay with the ball a lot. Sort of what 1v1 is. It's all about recoveries. Uh, Positioning on the ball. And then also, uh, yeah, I should have just went for the ball again. I was, I was wondering if he was going to go for the boost like he has been. It's all about the 50-50s, recoveries, and then just positioning on the ball. So it's not really like a valuable thing in other playlists. But uh, it's good It's good to get used to your mechanics and, and be, you know, fast on the field. So far, pretty clinical on all my shots. It's good to get a bit of a warm-up in here. The first game. Click it nice and high so he has to use like the little bit of boost he has. And then I can pop it back in. Make him have to make another hit. Put it behind him. There we go. Ooh. Not sure about that decision. That could have been a goal. I should have definitely scored. Oof. Oh, nice save by me. That was close. That's fine if he does that. He knows I have no boost. There we go. Chased me a little bit too hard there for that demo. I was able to get around him and then take the shot with the 12 boost. He had boost advantage that entire time. So I'm okay with him uh, making those small little hits. It gives me the space to work with the ball. To pop it around him. He's pretty overly committed, so now I can get the boost in my corner. 
and then work from there. Might do a pinch here. That fake doesn't really uh, affect me too bad. Um, if he stayed with the ball and then made a, a more of a challenge, uh, then it would have been a little more dangerous for me. Take the boost. There we go, I'll get the boost too, and I can probably shoot this. Perfect. So he's trying to wait for me to backflip it to him, but I don't want to give away possession. There's no reason for me to do that. So I'd rather draw, draw him in, make him have a challenge, and then I can just hold onto the ball. So good, good game so far. Uh, the one goal that I made a mistake was that one overcommit. There we go. Nice shot. Starting to feel a little more warmed up. Nice. Get that bottom right corner slotted in. So I'm hoping this season I can get rank one. Uh, like I said, so I'm going to be really focusing on being as clinical as possible. Making every shot that I'm supposed to be taking. I just play it really, really seriously. That way we can, uh, you know, get up there with the, the high ranks. Not sure what the, what the ranks look like right now on the uh, leaderboard, but hopefully we can get in the top 100 really quickly. Hope you guys do enjoy the 1v1s games, though. I know you guys have been asking. Some of you have been asking for a while to me for me to do these. I just don't, uh, I don't really like ones as much as I used to. I think it is still good to learn and stuff. Like, still get used to your mechanics. Oh, nice. That's actually good that I demoed him. It's one on my side, too. Chip this immediately. Just keep it away from him. Oh, what a save. To be able to recover enough. Not fast enough. He's going to have a touch here. Just wait for this corner boost. It should be back up. There we go. Get that a little bit too wide. I can come in and attack that point. Especially with an 8-1 lead. Not too worried about him. Uh, popping the ball over my head. Faking this touch. And then I'm going to go for him. No. Still makes him have to aerial pretty high, and then I can just come back for the defense. There we go. Should be game. So not a bad first game. Well played. Got him again. I'm actually really surprised, because uh, usually when you're doing placements, you run into like a bunch of different players at different uh, different heights in the ranks. But he seems to be pretty high up. He's 11... Uh, what is he? 12? Yeah, it's 1246. So he tried to bait me in, but I, he actually let, let me get that boost for free. He's quite low now. It's okay as well. Do me to stay with this. I'm going to go low on this one. A lot of people try to do those aerial uh, bumps nowadays. And uh, it actually works sometimes better if you just fake it and go lower. Because people are trying to jump high on the ball. So stay with this. Might take an immediate shot or something. That's a good flip. Oof. It's close. We'll probably backflip this. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I popped that so high. That's a good. That's a good challenge. It's not really able to shoot on target yet, but. There we go. Give me the ball again. Just waiting for him to pop the ball to me. Oh, I didn't get the uh, the flip reset. That's pretty dumb of me. Could have probably scored there. I think I'm gonna have to clear it to the side, that way I can get the uh, the boost in the middle here before he makes a play. Take immediate shot. Might be too fast for him. There it is. 
So I think he's a little bit afraid to shoot on me a little bit more. Like, he's not staying with the ball. He's kind of staying wide and respecting my positioning. But I think you need to just... In ones, you need to kind of just attack the ball. At least be a little more threatening. Might just be fast enough for me. There we go. <clears throat> I think Kevpert likes to bait players into making touches that they don't want to make. Uh, which really works for players who don't know the spacing and stuff. I think I've, I've gotten used to when people try to bait in possession for the most part. Oh! Oh, we got the boost. So I'm just trying to stay with the, the 12 boost I have. See if he makes a touch here. That was a good first touch. Nice goal. Yeah, so he definitely should turn those in. That was a good pop over me with the, the first possession touch. It really should have just went for that back corner boost and repositioned. Try to get a flick here. Just enough to pop it over to the side. It's pretty much an overcommit. If I don't score that, I'm probably getting scored on. <laughs> so, you know, risk over reward. Try to take a immediate shot. It's going to be not fast enough to go in. That was a miss flip. Oops. Ouch. So that touch doesn't get, give him possession. It stays too close to him. Uh, I mean, it stays too close to me to give him full possession. So I was able to challenge before anything happens. There we go. Try to do that last aerial just to pop it far left corner. Uh, you can get a lot more power than you think with the front flip as long as you angle your car the right way. So if you just angle your car to uh, front flip that corner, you can do a lot with it. I kind of saw he was going to jump immediately. He's been, he's been changing it up a little bit more this game, I can tell. Which is good to adapt. <laughs> Almost got the bump on there. He should score this. Nice, good finish. Every time I do that flip reset right now, I don't know why, but it, it always scoops my car underneath. I think I'm going too far uh, in front of the ball. Instead of... Uh, Instead of uh, staying underneath the ball. Do I do a musty flick here? Never mind. He's, he's not giving me enough space. It's a good waste of time here. Oof. Good challenge. A little bit of overcommit him by him though uh, to try and grab that boost. I'm able to just shoot the ball on target. All I had to do is sit in front of him on that challenge. I thought he was going to turn in and try to demo me, so I was being a little bit careful with how I was turning. Yeah, but ones is a lot about uh, kickoffs as well. About like positioning on kickoffs and making sure you have enough boost to work with. Ouch. That bump kind of worked out for me. Um, I definitely could have shot that a little bit more on target. Looped around the ball a little more. But it still works out. Trying different kickoff strategies. Nice 50. Oh, that works, I guess. Ooh! That's kind of spicy. I just got like a little bit of a scoop. Oh, that's perfect. It wouldn't have been on target if I didn't do that either. So that was pretty good. Okay, I'm definitely feeling myself warmed up now. It's nice to uh, do ones games to warm up. I usually jump into those and then get, get into threes or twos games. But the last few seasons, I haven't really been doing that. I kind of just warm up in twos. Oh, good flick. So my thought process there was that he was actually going to immediately shoot, which actually probably could have been a, could have been a goal. So I was a little bit worried about that. That's why I turned away. And then he was able to get a flick on me at the last second. It's a pretty good shot. Alright. So we can awkward touch from death to follow up. As he does here. Just keeping boost possession on him. 
staying really I'm being really annoying right now, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but just staying with the ball. Making it impossible to to make anything happen for him. Ah, dang. Nice play. Another good game. And we got one more before we uh, find out what our, our game is. Oh my, so we have uh, Kefbert for the entire uh, entire first video here. Um, he's Grand Champ, so if he's 12, what, 12.36? So I might actually be Grand Champ after this, which would be pretty good. It was close. Should be able to stay with this. Got the boost. Good bump. Should be open now too. So yeah, if he's twelve thirty six, I might be able to get enough points here to get GC, or I might even be GC. I have no idea what GC is in ones. I know that it's different than other ranks, obviously, because twelve hundred is usually like champ one, I think. I'm not exactly sure why they they have a, a lower uh, point system. Maybe it's just because less people play it. Hard for him to save well. It's a pretty good save. I keep being annoying here. There we go. So he's not. I don't think he's used to me being that close to the ball. So he's not able to get enough power. He's not generating power to shoot it far enough away from me for it to be threatening. If he can threaten a few more uh, far clears, then I'd be a little bit more worried about being that close to him. But so far, I can just kind of. Oh, that's a good save. So far, I can just like kind of stay close. Really good save again, and good, uh, good positioning to stay on the ball. So hopefully, this boost should spawn here. Try to trick him into thinking I have no more boost, but you should see that I grabbed that 100 boost. It's a good shot. Good finish too. So that's a little bit more what, what I'm talking about. Just threatening more fast clears, so I don't turn on these kind of balls because. Usually he's being pretty slow, so I can I can turn on those, but if I know that he's gonna stay closer to the ball, I can actually position differently. <laughs> I could have scored that. I don't know why I didn't. Still have him in the loop here. There we go. Yeah, I still had him under pressure because he had very little boost. He flipped right into the net, which means he probably only had like one or two pads on his way back. Able to keep the ball ball high there. I should go for this boost first. Just taking me a shot, see if he chips it. It's good. Should be able to stay with us now. He's gonna chase me down. I don't like that. Stay away from me, please. Should be able to bump him out of the way. Oh! Close. Good pressure by him. That's what I'm talking about. So he's changed it up. It's good. This is how you uh, change up your strategy to uh, get more pressure in ones. If you're going to try and take control the whole time and dribble, I can just stay close. Now I can change up my strategy and, and give myself some space to score the goal. There we go. When people stay close like I am right now, you can definitely take a little more time to, uh, oops. Oh, it's in. Uh, take a little more time to hit the ball down the field and make them have to retreat. So until people do that, I just stay close. It's not really much of a threat. Tried to lock jaw him there, but it didn't really work. Take an immediate shot, make him have to clear it. Put it behind him so he has to clear it again. It was really awkward for him. May have the position on the ball here. Oh no! Okay, I thought he I thought he owned gold. <laughs> so he does here. 
Actually, I didn't grab that boost, and I can grab this in the corner and then stay with it. To that far corner. Take my time. Uh, I know I have a little bit more time than he has on the, on the positioning to get that back corner boost. So just take my time to get the right aerial. Uh, and air roll into a powerful shot. Oh, was it just fast enough? Oh, it's not in. Good save. He still has like basically no boost. So I don't have to be worried about him with a burst of speed or something. Ouch. This could be a goal. Nice pop. That was smart of him. I had very little boost, so I, there's not much I can really do there. As long as I uh, don't position <laughs> the way I did there, though, I might actually get to be able to defend that a little better. But he's definitely changed up his strategy in this game. Oh, no. There we go. That was a good, good lock by me to get him off the, the boost. Oh. I think he thought I was just going to bait there the entire time. So I saw him turn away and that's when I wanted to move the ball down the field. Uh, him being there, I can't really do much. So I just want to make sure that I wait until he makes a change. Since there wasn't much time on the, the clock, he had to make something happen. So it's kind of why I don't like ones a little bit. Is those situations are basically overpowered if you're up a goal. Ah, that's a goal. Or should be. He's to try by him to pop that out in time. But there we go. So we should get GC here. Let's see uh, Let's see if the rank pops in. Hope you guys enjoyed that first video of the road to rank 1. Uh, starting off at Grand Champ would be great. That way we can just move up with the MMR. Oh, we're not. That's crazy. So, he's GC. Wait a minute. So I think there's a bit of a grace period, I guess, between uh, demoting and promoting. So, you know, now I can actually go from, you know, champ three to moving into grand champ for the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see more of this. Uh, if you want me to go for rank one, if not, let me know what you guys want me to do. Otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.